my name is Ben Bowers and um, I apologise if it sounds like I'm speaking quietly but my two children are upstairs asleep in bed and my wife is out for the night and I don't particularly want to wake them up so uh, if um, if the volume's quite low I apologise in advance. Um, my name is Ben Bowers and if um, you've not seen me before um, then you may not be aware of what I'm doing. Um, I'm currently um, at the start of a year-long challenge um, raising money for a charity and I just wanted to take this opportunity to explain why it is that I'm um, undertaking this challenge and also hopefully um, appeal to you to be able to help me in a, in a couple of ways. So this here is a picture of my uh, six-year-old daughter Kyrie with her best friend at school uh, Vaughan. Um, now they are the type of best friends that you kind of joke about that they will be best friends for life and they'll probably get married and they'll probably be together forever um, it's that sort of friendship now uh, it's born sixth birthday next week and without the help of the uh, children's heart surgery fund um, he probably wouldn't have made that sixth birthday um, when his mum Rebecca was 20 weeks pregnant um, she and her husband Simeon found out that um, Vaughan had um, some quite serious multiple heart problems uh, and when he was born um, he was born with an interrupted aortic arch and a very large hole in his heart. Uh, before his first birthday he'd already undergone three major heart surgeries. Uh, he had a fourth in August 2014. Um, at this point in time, he has to have a checkup every couple of months just to make sure that the pressure in his heart is at a safe level. Um, and ultimately, he will need a complete valve replacement. Um, at the moment, he is just too young, too small uh, to be able to have this surgery. Um, they need to wait until he's big enough and strong enough to be able to, um, to endure that surgery. Um, but it is necessity. It has to happen. Now the Children's Heart Surgery Fund is based in Leeds in, uh, in the centre of Yorkshire uh, and they provide really invaluable equipment, uh, resources, research for um, kids with congenital heart defects. Um, they also provide support for both the children and the families that have to go through all this pain and anguish and, and struggles um, for, for a hell of a long time. Um, and their aim is to give every single child a real childhood and ultimately an adulthood as well. Now, Kyrie and Vaughan have got that sort of friendship that could last for years and years and years and the children's heart surgery hopefully will ensure that it actually does. So I'm asking for your help in two ways. Um, I've set myself a personal challenge. My aim is to sample and review on video 366 different core whiskies from 366 different distilleries, producers, brands over the course of a year, 366 days, with it being a leap year. Uh, it started on Burns Night, which is January 25th, 2016, um, and I aim to do the equivalent of a drama day, hence the title, um, until Burns Night 2017 next year. My aim is to raise £5,000 and hopefully a lot more for the Children's Heart Surgery Fund. Um, one of the things that they're trying to raise money for is a new echocardiogram machine, um, which will sit in Leeds General Infirmary uh, Hospital uh, in the centre of Leeds, uh, and will go towards saving many, many lives. So the first way you can help me, which uh, is quite simple, I'm asking for donations of money towards the, towards the fund. Um, I have a Just Giving page, which the address is up now. And the way I'm basically looking at it is, you know when people come up to you and say, oh, I'm running a marathon, will you sponsor me? Or oh, I'm going on a really long walk, will you sponsor me? And, and you do like 50p per mile or a pound per mile or whatever it is. Basically, sponsor me per dram. 10p per dram, 366 drams, no, 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 £36.60 over a year. Um, at the end of a year, £36.60. Doesn't sound like a lot, but if 100 people did that, that's over three and a half grand and that will go a hell of a long way. If 200 people did it, I've exceeded five grand. Happy days, absolutely brilliant. If you wanted to donate a pound a dram, that would be even better, but that's probably quite a bit to ask. So I'm asking if you could sponsor me for um, this challenge. It's a long challenge and it's hard work and I'll go into that in a little bit more. Um, 
But yeah, any sort of sponsorship, if you can go to the Just Giving page, and if you wanted to break it down, rather than just throwing a lump sum in there, say every 50 drams, throw a fiver in the pot type thing, that would keep me ticking along, that would see me, that I'd be able to see sort of little bits going in there, and that would be geeing me along and keep me going. I need to point out that the challenge is not, I've not come up with this challenge as a way of, oh, let's see if I can get any free booze or let's get drunk every night. It's absolutely not the intention whatsoever. I'm really interested in whiskey. And if you if you wanna go and look at any of the videos, which I have up on a YouTube channel, um, I haven't yet got enough subscribers to have its own website, but if you go to my Facebook page, the address is there, um, that will have the all the videos uploaded onto the Facebook page as well. Um, I'm. On, on the samples, I am reviewing them, but I'm also giving some background history, I'm giving a few anecdotes, just kind of little facts and things like that that I find interesting and I'm hoping people that wouldn't necessarily know anything about it might find it interesting as well. Um, if you fancy trying something new, have a look down the list, see if I've done a video of it, see what I think of it, might give you some idea as to whether you're gonna like it or not. And I'm also just sampling this 2.5 CL, 25 mil measure. Uh, it's the equivalent of one unit of alcohol. It's smaller than a shot that you get at a bar, which is normally 35 mil. It's the equivalent of half a miniature. That's all I'm sampling every night. It's not a lot. I'm not downing gallons and gallons of the stuff. It is this, just to provide a little enough for a review, to taste it, to give you, some, give you guys some information about it. That's all I'm looking for. So that's, that leads me to the second thing that I'm asking for your help. Um, I've recently completed 10% of the challenge, which was 37 drams. And I've got enough samples with miniatures and also some drams that have been donated to me really, really generously by some friends I've made on Facebook and some people I know already to get to about dram 100. But after that, I'm running out. And the challenge rules that I've set myself means that it has to be 366 different whiskies from different distilleries, producers, everything like that. So I can't get away with using multiple ages from one distillery and, and use 10 of them to kind of bulk it out. Worst case scenario, if I totally run out towards the end of the challenge, I might have to go down that route, but I really, really don't want to. And that's a personal thing to me. Um, I would feel like I failed the challenge if I had to do that. So all I'm asking is if you uh, have some whiskies on the shelf, if you know somebody that likes whiskey and is drinking it and has got bottles around, uh, friends and family and colleagues and things like that, and you could provide two and a half CL, half of a miniature's worth. I have a list on uh, my Tumblr blog, which is, uh, the address is here. Now that has a list of all the brands that I basically cut and pasted from Wikipedia. I've crossed off the ones that I already either have had or have in my stock at the moment. Um, there's a lot on there that I haven't got. There's about 650 that uh, in, in the total list. And like I say, I'm, I'm barely at 100. Um, and there's a lot of kind of mainstream brands that you've probably heard of already, like McAllen, Famous Grouse, Bells, anything like that. You know, what you would call everyday basic ones at the supermarket. I still don't have those. So I'm not necessarily looking for really, really obscure whiskies. I am ultimately, but you know, if you've got um, friends or, or anybody like that that um, that has odd bottles lying around, and you could spare that and be able to stick it in the post, or I'd, I'd find some way of getting it to me, it would be really, really much appreciated. And I'm not looking for the uber rare ones, the uber expensive ones. This isn't some way of me being able to try whiskies that I'd never be able to try because they're far too expensive. I'm not looking for a 1936 Macallan. I want the core one the Macallan 10 year old, the bog standard famous grouse, the bog standard bells. I'm not looking for anything obscure. And if you've got a bottle that's worth thousands and thousands of pounds and it's on the list, but there is a standard 10 year old available, I'm not asking you to send me that. I wouldn't do that to anybody. The sampling is the easy bit. The actual pouring it into a glass and me tasting it and talking about it on screen, that's the easy bit. The research beforehand, uh, the videoing, the uploading, particularly with my bloody awful internet that I've got that takes forever. Um, the the sourcing of the whiskies, me having to do this, this is the challenge, this is the hard bit. But it wouldn't be a challenge any other way if I wasn't gonna make it difficult f and uh, for myself. And, and my daughter and her best friend are reason enough for me to challenge myself and for me to be speaking to you now. So please help, please help me. 
You can donate DOSH at this address, the Just Giving page. You can donate DRAMS um, by going onto this uh, list, looking at the list, seeing if you've got anything. Then give me a shout. Um, my videos have got uh, an email address on or contact me through my Facebook page. You might know somebody who's a keen whiskey drinker or they collect whiskies. Uh, they might not be aware of this. I'm, I'm still trying to spread the word out. If, um, if you can have a word with them, if you can't help, if you've got no whiskey yourself or you're not really that interested or anything like that, I appreciate you watching until now. Very kind of you, um, but you know, if please spread the word, please, please let people that you know, um, because that's the only way that I'm going to get this challenge completed. Um, without you, I can't complete this challenge. Without completing this challenge, I can't help my best, my daughter's best friend. Um, I've thought about how hard it would be for Kyrie to lose her best friend and how much that would hurt her. And that pain and that difficulty that we'd have to go through would be a drop in the ocean for Rebecca and Simeon were they to lose Vaughan. And he is an awesome, awesome kid. He's so cool. So please, please help me help them let that not happen. Thank you very much. I hope I can hear from you soon. And thanks for watching.